Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Brenda and welcome. So for today's video, it's going to be a Q&A and today is going to be all about my business. It's going to be all about Bodies by Brenda. If you guys have not already followed it, make sure you go follow it. I'm going to put, you know, my Instagram page right here on the screen so you guys can see it. I have been talking about it for the past I don't know how many vlogs. For those of you who don't know, I just started my own business about, I wanna say about a month and a half ago, and it is a body sculpting business. And I've had so many questions from everyone about body sculpting, what is it about? Um, how does it work? So in this video, I'm going to be answering all your questions. I put a questionnaire on Instagram and I asked you guys to send me over any questions that you guys might have. So I'm gonna be answering every single one of the questions that you guys sent me. I also wanna thank you guys so much for sending me all your sweet messages on the start of my business. There's so many of you guys that have reached out to me and congratulated me and have wished me the best and I couldn't be more grateful. I, I'm i honestly so blessed to be in the position that I am right now and I'm so blessed to, you know, start something new in my life and look forward to something new. So thank you all so, so, so much. You guys know who you are and I appreciate you all so much. Um, but with all this being said, if you guys want to go ahead and see this Q&A, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I did screenshot all of your questions and I have them here on my phone and I'm just going to be answering them randomly. Um, so let's go ahead and get started off with the first question. The first question says, what inspired you to start? Can't wait to travel to LA to make an appointment. That's so freaking sweet. So they asked what inspired me to start. And basically I um, became familiar with body sculpting. I wanna say, um, I wanna say it was like in April or May, I became familiar with it. So I got this treatment done myself when I was in Chicago. And guys, I was obsessed. I really loved the results of, you know, how it made me look. And I was like such in awe. So when I came back home to LA, I wanted to continue doing the treatments and I was just very intrigued still about, you know, what I did and how the treatments worked. So um, by the way, I got a total of four sessions of four treatments of um, cavitation on my stomach. If I find the before and after pictures, I'll put them in the screen for you guys so you guys can see what my results look like. But I really just was so in love with you know the procedure and the treatment that I decided to look into it when I came back home so fast forward of me coming back home to LA I was here and I was looking at places to you know continue doing this treatment and I honestly didn't find as many places that did these treatments so um, I randomly came across this girl who was actually doing trainings for body sculpting and body contouring and when I seen that I was just just so excited because I felt like not only can I learn how to do body sculpting on myself but I can also do it for other people and like I said where I live I hadn't really heard about it or heard of people that were doing it so I decided it was just an amazing opportunity to learn how to do this and that's why I decided to enroll in the trainings and just make a business out of it so I officially got trained I want to say in September so I got trained like the beginning of September and that's exactly when I started my business after I um, I got trained beforehand though I studied this so 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 much I was always on my computer looking up you know videos um, just looking up articles of what body sculpting was like about what you know certain treatments are like and if I had any questions I would literally look it up so I want to say it was maybe like three months of me preparing for this and when it came down to the training I felt like I was just so informed and it was so easy for me and I feel I honestly feel like it came to me naturally but going back to the question I that's how I decided to do it I personally myself got these um, procedures done and I love them so much that I just decided to learn for myself and I just decided that if I were to make a business out of this it would probably be so life-changing for you guys so yeah that is that that's how I you know I got into it and I couldn't be any more grateful this person that sent me this question lives in Chicago and most of the people that do follow me are from back home back from Chicago and it kind of sucks that you know I am now in LA and I'm doing this in LA when I have most of my majority audience in 
Chicago, but I appreciate everyone's support even if you guys aren't here. Everyone from back home has been so supportive, so thank you so much. I can't wait for you to come visit and you know, to get you know your body snatched because that will make me so happy. The next question says, hi, did you go to school in Chicago? And if so, what is it called? So I'm assuming they asked if I got trained in Chicago. I did go to school in Chicago, like high school and elementary school, but I did not get trained in Chicago. Um, I don't know if there's any people that do like body sculpting trainings out there. You guys would have to, you know, look into it. Um, but no, I got trained in LA and this is where, you know, I started my business and this is where where I began everything. So no, I got trained in LA, not in Chicago. The next question is advice for someone wanting to start a business. So I had to think about this for a minute just because this is such a good question. And you know, I myself am just recently a new businesswoman. But if I were to give someone advice who wants to start a new business, I would say put your mind to it. Don't be scared. Don't make any excuses for you not to start a business because if you put your mind to it, you will definitely do anything that you want to. I myself was a little scared just because, you know, I am in LA where I don't know as many people. I have friends, of course, but I don't have people that I went to school with or, you know, just people that I can say that I really know. Um, so it was scary. And also we are in the middle of a pandemic. So that was another thing I was really scared of. I didn't know if opening a business in the middle of a pandemic was going to be um was going to hurt me or not but i did really focus on what my goal was and i did really focus on uh, you know what i wanted to do and honestly when you guys really put your mind to something and you are just very determined i promise you you guys can do anything that you want like i told you guys i spent so much time researching um what body sculpting and what body contouring was like before i actually started it and I took so much time researching, you know, machines, researching things that were good for you, that were not good for you. I researched, you know, how to start a business, what I had to do, you know, it's, it's honestly hard and time consuming, but I promise you, if you put your mind to it and if you focus, you will, you know, you will achieve, you will do big things and that is probably the one advice i would give someone just you know don't be scared of anything don't be scared of the future don't be scared of what the outcome can be think about the positive and just have like a tunnel vision of what you want to do and i promise you you guys will reach your goals so yeah that would probably be the best advice i can give you guys coming from you know a new business woman and yeah just keep going guys just follow your dreams keep going and good things will come your way the next question says have you done any treatments yourself and yes like i told you guys that is exactly why i decided to make this business is because i myself got these treatments done and i did lipocavitation in particular on my stomach and it was amazing i love my results and um if you go on my instagram i have a post i'll put the post right here and it explains every single treatment what every single treatment does what is it good for what the benefits are how many sessions are recommended every single post is going to explain to you guys what may work best for you so go on my instagram under this post right here i'm going to leave it on the screen so you guys can see it and just you know reference to that if you guys have any questions on what the treatments are i'm going to tell you guys right now what treatments i offer so when i went to training they did teach us various ways of body contouring because body contouring entails so many different things so i did learn how to do lipo cavitation or ultrasonic cavitation which is a fat burning um treatment it uses ultrasonic waves into your body to burn fat the next treatment that i learned was radio frequency and radio frequency is so good to tighten your skin it's very helpful for girls that have lost a lot of weight in the past and that have extra skin or even girls that you know have had a pregnancy and have like that um that bulge in their skin in their stomach i mean radio frequency is very very helpful for that it also has many other benefits but um yeah that's mainly known for skin tightening then i also offer a cellulite vacuum therapy and the cellulite vacuum therapy and that is mainly used on the thighs to help smooth out the cellulite that we 
get on our thighs that is so annoying um and then uh, other than that i have wood therapy the wood therapy treatment is so freaking good and it's been used for ages wood therapy is all natural it's basically wooden tools that i use to you know massage your body and they're so good if you hold a lot of water if you retain a lot of water it activates your lymphatic system and it just drains everything out it drains all your toxins it's so freaking helpful and it also contours your body and makes you look so snatched i love to do that on the stomach area for most patients when they want you know a thinner stomach and to you know get just get rid of stubborn fat there that we have um that is very good for that and then last but not least i learned how to do the butt enhancement which a lot of people know by the non-invasive bbl i know it sounds crazy but it's literally two suction cups that go on your booty and when you put them on there it literally Really plumps up your butt you will have them on your butt between half an hour to an hour and they do you know plump up your blood you will have a lot of um, blood rushing up to that area and fat just being sucked into that area and that is why your butt is going to look a lot rounder after the treatment so yeah pretty much those are all the treatments that i was taught in the future i do plan on bringing so many more you know um treatments in to my business but for now i decided to start off with that and you know i do want to keep growing and keep learning other things but for now that is what i'm going to start off with so the next question says where do you see yourself in five years and um business wise i feel like in five years i would still love to be doing body sculpting i feel like right now i love what i do and i do see myself in the future continuing to do this um possibly maybe opening like a storefront or um you know just expanding it to a lot of other treatments like i said a lot of other services and just i see it being so much more bigger i also do see myself possibly having a storefront in chicago and doing body sculpting out there just because i don't really see it as much out there and i feel like like I said, a lot of my audience is from Chicago, so I feel like that would be amazing. And I have so many people out there that would love this. Um, and yeah, I feel like business-wise, that's where I see myself. Obviously, working and doing something that I truly love because uh, if you guys don't know, I still have my job. I'm still doing this and I'm still trying to focus as much as I can on YouTube. So it's kind of hard to juggle everything around. But um, if I know that I enjoy it, then I'm going to make time for it. So yeah, I do see myself still being a businesswoman and, you know, being a better one at that. Other than that, uh, maybe, you know, probably with family, with a house live in life <laughs> so yeah the next question says what made you want to start a body sculpting business and i pretty much already answered this one but i felt like after i got these sessions done myself um that a lot of girls would really really love this so so i just wanted to give you know more girls an opportunity to get body sculpting done and just seeing how amazing it is without having surgery and without you know working out i know a lot of us don't have time to work out and personally um i'm just lazy to be honest with you sometimes we don't have enough time to work out or just you know we have fat that we can't get rid of and we just want a little help here or there and doing this is definitely a confidence booster and it just makes you feel better and you know you're doing it for yourself you're treating yourself and i feel like that is so important for women do something that makes you happy that's going to make you happy in your own body and yeah that's exactly why i decided to do it just because if I feel good, I know other girls will also feel the same way and they will love it. Next question says, what is the hardest part about being a businesswoman? So um, this is kind of a hard question just because so far it's been, I, I don't want to say it's been easy, but it's been very good. The um, experience for me has been very good. I know being a businesswoman can be very scary just because you can be looked down at sometimes. And that is a scary feeling to feel like, you know, you're being looked down. Um, I know myself before starting this, I... I was scared of failure, but um, I know that if I didn't try it, I was not going to know and I was not going to see, you know, where this could have gone. But yeah, I will say that the hardest thing is probably just feeling like, you know, you're not going to be taken seriously or 
like you can't do it like i said if you put your mind to it you will be able to do whatever you want but um nowadays you know it's scary to become you know a boss woman because of what people might think or just feeling like you won't get support from anyone so i i feel like that that's just the scariest part just feeling maybe feeling that you're going to be rejected and maybe feeling um that you're gonna fail but other than that i feel like since I'm new, I really don't know what the hardest, hardest part is. But yeah, pretty much, you know, feeling like you're not going to be able to make it. But if you have a different mindset and always remind yourself, you know, what is going to make you happy and why you are doing it, then girl, you are going to achieve and you, you know, you will do big things. So yeah, that was a really good question. It was kind of tough, but it was a good question. So the next one is not a question, but it says, I wanted to say how happy I am for you and that your business is taking off. Very proud of you and I know God will continue to bless you. It's only the beginning, boss babe, keep going. This is seriously the sweetest. This is from a friend and thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Like I said, your support guys has been amazing and your support has not gone unnoticed and I appreciate every single one of you guys, especially my best friends that have been there for me through thick and thin and have always shown that, you know, they're willing to help me for every single thing. So I'm very, I'm, I'm honestly very grateful and thankful. So yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> Next question says, can guys get work done as well? And yes, I actually have a few, actually more than a few male clients already. And guys, I promise you that anyone that does this is going to fall in love. There is something for every single one of you guys to try. Um, the male clients that I have had have gotten um, the lipo cavitation on their stomach, on their back. They've got in radio frequency, they got in um, the chin radio frequency. Radio frequency can actually be used on any part of your body. And if you wanna tighten up this area, it is perfect for that. But yeah, I do have male clients, guys, and you guys, you guys are more than welcome to schedule, to see what it's like. So many people were skeptical about it, but guys are more than welcome to try it. Okay, so I think that is pretty much all of the questions that you guys sent. A lot of you guys sent like um, some of the same questions, but if you guys have any other questions, you are more than welcome to leave them down below in the comment box. I will answer everything that you guys may have. If you wanna go ahead and book a session with me, you can DM me on Instagram and I I, again will put my instagram page right here so you guys know where to find me i'll always leave it linked down below as well so you guys can always find my instagram page i also do want to mention that pretty soon i am going to be filming another video for you guys where i do these procedures on myself um most likely it's going to be like lipo cavitation or like radio frequency and i'm going to be doing it on myself and i'm going to be filming and recording what my results look like after every single session so you guys can get an idea of you know what the treatment are like but I do want to mention that just in case you guys are wondering about what you know the procedures are when a person gets it done um so yeah I'm gonna be doing it on myself and testing it for you guys that is all for today guys thank you guys for supporting my business thank you for showing so much love um this is just the beginning of something new and there's so many things that are coming to bodies by Brenda um that I'm so excited to share with you guys but yeah that's going to be all for today guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I will be seeing you guys in my next video video. Bye.